Hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, Gregor Gallagher here, and I'm with my very good friend, uh, Christopher Walker, um, and he actually has a new program that's out, and I've had the chance to like go right through it, and it is really incredible. Um, Chris is very smart dude, um, and he actually naturally took his testosterone from near zero levels uh, due to a, a, a brain tumor all the way up to pretty much beyond the medical reference range. Um, crazy high levels and he's really uh, mastered this t naturally increasing testosterone thing so I'm happy to have him on um, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, his program and uh, sounds good so uh, Chris let's tell me a little bit about your new program Test Shock. What's up dude? Yep uh, so Test Shock is basically uh, I wrote Testosterone IO a couple years ago and um, so I wanted to essentially rebrand it and uh, take it into, uh, you know, redesign it, have a chance to, to revisit everything. So it's, it's really the, um, for the people who already um, own Testosterone IO, uh, it's the same program, just uh, enhanced. So we added a better audio book, um, really good video library, and uh, um, also aggressive shred program to it as well. But it's uh, essentially a 264-page book that basically tells you literally everything you need to know about naturally increasing your testosterone um, with just nutrition and uh, training. And then I also get into a lot of uh, lifestyle stuff as well. And as you said, uh, a little bit about my backstory, it was, you know, my testosterone was super low, um, 11 nanograms per deciliter from a, a brain tumor. And so then I really, what test shock is, it's just a culmination of literally everything I did and learned over the period of time bringing my testosterone up around 1200 nanograms per deciliter so um, it's it's got anything a guy would ever want to uh, learn about uh, that they can put into action right away uh, in their life and really get good results yeah I, I love the program because you really like no no uh, I was about to say no snow is unturned no stone is unturned I mean you cover like the nutrition, um, and it's all evidence-based, the nutrition to really um, bring up testosterone. Interestingly enough, you'll find out, find out about why so many bodybuilding, fitness-oriented diets kill testosterone. Yeah, it's That's actually a favorite, a favorite study group for testosterone researchers is bodybuilders because they have such low testosterone. Unless, unless they take steroids, and frankly, a ton of them have to in order to... to well, they still... They're, interesting enough, um, there's still... I ran a uh, study that, that uh, basically looked at, at bodybuilders who were on steroids, who were still dieting, like doing the extreme dieting and contest prep, and they still had low testosterone. That is insane. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, a lot of the conventional fitness nutrition advice for bodybuilders, fitness models, actually destroys your hormones. And that's something that you flesh out beautifully in the program. And, and you go beyond the fitness and nutrition stuff that I haven't even looked into, which is fascinating. And that's like, um, you know, yeah, lifestyle factors and, and, and various, like, ways that our modern-day society is sabotaging our testosterone levels um, and yeah. how, to avoid, how to avoid that. Like Chris just told me the other day, and I, I, I read about this in the program, was that um, receipts – like sales receipts, like if, if your sales receipts are filled with BPA, which is something that you explain in the program and how it can um, increase estrogen and reduce testosterone, and just like handling receipts can actually get that, that chemical into your body, um, yeah. which is quite, quite cool. So, you know. Yeah. And, and we saw, like right after we had that discussion the other day, there was a new thing that just came out where um, there's a compound called BPS, which BPS was like basically meant to be the, the replacement for BPA since so many people were having health problems with BPA and uh, but BPS was also found to cause brain damage so there's there are certain things that uh, that you need to be aware of and avoid on a regular basis for example like with sales receipts uh, they started using BPS to make sales receipts which is now BPS is also a shitty chemical so um, you know with sales receipts I, re I recommend for people like say you go grocery shopping or whatever and uh, usually the cashier will just be like, hey, do you want your receipt or do you want me to put it in the bag? Just have them put it in the bag. Uh, who needs receipts anyways because you have online banking. You know, you can 
you can do all your taxes or your write-offs or whatever, track expenses. Um, if you don't have to take the receipt, don't take it. That's just you know a simple tip, one of the many tips in the book. Right, yeah, and, and um, I mean, that was very interesting stuff. I was at Chipotle yesterday, and uh, they were going to be like, do you want your receipt? I'm like, yes. I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Um, it's okay. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's very interesting stuff, and I like how you explore all these new topics, and you talk about intermittent fasting, and people think that intermittent fasting is, might be damaging for testosterone, but actually, you um, spell out perfectly uh, actually the benefits that fasting has and how it can directly and indirectly help enhance um, testosterone production, which is quite fascinating. I mean, the book is so comprehensive, you know. Um, like I said, there's no stone unturned. And, and it's funny is that um, I really love Chris's course, and I'm, like, really excited to share it with people because, you know, there are some big courses, big books, you know, on the bestseller list geared towards maximizing testosterone. And... You know what? And 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 it, it, they're garbage. You know, they're garbage because they completely miss the boat. They look at ones. They don't look at the full picture. They look at one little study showing something about high fat diets, and then they completely neglect other really important macronutrients, other really important issues, and they you know they don't understand the full complexity complexity of training to enhance testosterone. And so you really. Um, you know, you re you really keep it very uh, evidence based, very real, and unbiased, and uh, that's you know why the programs kick ass. Now, before we sign off here, um, let's tell people a little bit about why they would want high testosterone and why they wouldn't yeah. want low testosterone, and frankly, why using steroids or hormonal replacement isn't the best solution. Yeah, definitely, uh, it's a good question. I and. Sometimes I just take it for granted just because, like, I had such low testosterone for so long. I'm like, why wouldn't you want to have high testosterone? But that was my reality, you know. I wanted high testosterone. Um, but it makes sense. Okay, so men and a lot of guys who are dealing with low T issues, I mean, you know, when you know that it's it's a low testosterone issue, you, you get it in terms of why you would want to have higher testosterone. Um, it, it manifests itself in a, in a myriad different... Um, psychological and physical uh, ailments essentially so psychologically people this kind of will fly under the radar for a lot of people they might have have uh, low testosterone but not really notice it in terms of having a lot of depression issues and anxiety issues uh, because it the testosterone is so uh, directly correlated with uh, your cortisol levels and which which cortisol is also and I explain this in the book uh, the interplay with cortisol which is your main stress hormone and uh, the catecholamines, which is, uh, you know, epinephrine, norepinephrine, which or like adrenaline. So it's it's all tied in. That's all tied in with uh, your your body's fire flight response. And then so, for example, when people have low testosterone issues, their cortisol and their adrenaline levels are going to be a lot higher on a daily basis. That's why you have anxiety problems. You know, for example, uh, when you feel a lot like in, intense anxiety. Uh, you kind of feel on edge for no reason. You know, your body is on edge. It's kind of hard to describe, but when you feel it, you know it. Um, that's one, you know, the psychological end. But on the physical end, uh, a lot of great benefits because, especially as guys, when our body is just purring along, like our endocrine system is super healthy, uh, we're going to, the well-being will be there, but we're also going to be able to build muscle really quickly and easily. Uh, it's not going to be like a huge struggle. I think a lot of the hard gainers uh, who have a big struggle have uh, testosterone issues uh, because um, or and or growth hormone issues which are also like really tied into it um, and that's usually out of not eating enough for example um, to support a healthy endocrine system and not eating the right macronutrient splits which is also something we get into you know like in the book how protein is <clears throat> far overemphasized. Um, the, you know, carbs and fats are really super important. Uh, fat loss becomes really easy. Um, the uh, interplay between, and, and one thing that I, I do recommend, and I say this, and I sent out an email about this this morning to my email list, and I got a response back, and it was interesting. Um, it was about, you know, the number one easiest way to drop, or to uh, naturally increase your testosterone quickly, is to drop excess body fat. And so, um, so the interplay there, and the reason why I say that is because uh, it's inverse. Testosterone is inversely correlated with 
insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. So if you have insulin problems, uh, say you're overweight or just have excess body fat, like over 15% body fat for guys is usually considered, you know, out of the healthy range, uh, especially endocrine wise. It's nice to have a little bit of padding if you want like the optimal endocrine system, but when you get up um, over 15%, that's when you start having issues with, with your insulin. Um, so the uh, having higher testosterone is actually going to help keep your insulin levels and increase your insulin sensitivity, which, as you also know, is way better for training. Uh, it'll help you stay lean longer uh, and more easily because your body's more able to handle uh, carbohydrate intake uh, and, and when you're training, you know, muscle, uh, muscle synthesis, synthesis and glycogen synthesis are both uh, vastly improved when you have good insulin sensitivity. Uh, so tons of benefits just all around. You know, most guys, uh, you, you want to have your testosterone up above 600 nanograms per deciliter. Uh, so if it's not there and you can get tested, it's pretty cheap, you, especially if you have insurance, uh, medical insurance, you can go in for a copay. You know, probably 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and uh, your testosterone checked. And that's what I'd recommend if, if uh, guys want uh, go on the test shock program. You know, right before you start, uh, get your levels checked. Or, like, you know, say you get the book and then go and get the levels checked, like, the next week or whatever. And then uh, monitor every four to six months. Keep it going. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that's a great idea. Because if, if you have that, I mean, it's one thing to, you know, feel, you know, better and to, you know, have a higher sex drive and, you know, to have better workouts and everything, but um, if you can, like, literally see exactly the increase it had is, is quite cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, both things work, though. It's like some people really like that data, and then other people are just happy with, oh, you know, like some clients will email me, my sex drive jumped back within two weeks, mm -hmm. and that's enough for them, like, because that's what they wanted out of the whole thing. They wanted to please their girlfriend or wife or whatever and make sure that their relationship was good in that respect. So um, then everything on top of that is icing on the cake, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, um, yeah, the program, I've gone through it, and it is, it is very effective. If you guys are looking to naturally increase your testosterone, um, I highly recommend it. And, uh, I mean, Chris, what are some reasons why someone wouldn't want to because, you know, now it's getting more popular for men in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. They go to their doctor. They find out they usually have some symptom. Maybe it's low energy. Maybe it's low sex drive. And they get their testosterone levels tested. They find out they're low, and then they have the opportunity to go on to uh, hormone replacement. I mean, what are your thoughts on, on that? Yeah, good question. I, um, I was given that option uh, when I got the brain tumor diagnosis. They, that was the first thing they prescribed. They were like, here's a prescription for androgel and uh, this will get your testosterone levels back up. Here's my problem with that. Um, I took it for a bit, and then I ditched it because it, you know, it dawned on me what's going on. And I ditched all the medications I was on, everything. Um, but it, it dawned on me that really what you're doing when you're uh, – it, it's a Band-Aid. So testosterone gel hormone replacement is a Band-Aid. It's not actually uh, building – the capability for your body to actually produce testosterone because the endocrine system, and I explain this in the book as well, it operates in a feedback loop system. So there's positive and negative feedback loops. But by, by taking uh, an approach with training and nutrition, you're building from the core your body's ability to produce testosterone. Uh, you know, sometimes it might take a while because you might have run your body into the ground for decades but eventually you're going to be able, your body's going to be back on track and it's going to have a well-run endocrine system. Now what you're doing with uh, the exogenous, you know, outside, of, basically the stuff that's not produced in your body when you're applying it to your body, uh, you're not actually providing any support um, continued. Like your body still doesn't know how to produce testosterone. All you're doing is introducing some testosterone back into the system. So you'll, you'll feel, you know, better than you were before when you say your T levels were like at 100 and you took uh, uh, testosterone replacement therapy and got it up to like 400. You'll feel a lot better than they were at 100. However, you're dependent on that prescription. You're dependent on that to have that, that, that well-being. And most of the times you're not actually going to be, unless you dose super high, and this is something I can talk about too, um, you're not going to really 
get up to uh, a, like a really high level that you can maintain um, indefinitely. So you really want to build in the support system in your actual body and, and essentially teach your body how to produce testosterone if you want to uh, not be relying on a prescription and if you want you know a long healthy life where you're not essentially you know buying pharmaceuticals and then rubbing goo all over your chest for you know until you're like 75 so I decided I didn't want to be reliant on it so I was just like I'll figure this out you know it took me about 18 months to, to make the huge change um, but it happened and now I'm glad it did now another another issue with uh, from the very bottom so I mean, it might not take someone 18 months if they have you yeah. know, sort of low, because you weren't low, you were like almost non-existent. Yeah, like almost zero, basically as close to zero as you can get, um, and still be a man. <laughs> Those were dark times, sucked. Um, so yeah, most people, most guys that are starting out on this are like in the... You've been a great friend to women though, because you probably have no ulterior agenda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but I'd rather not not be that way. No, no. Um, yeah, yeah. Most guys starting, most like normal guys with low testosterone problems who don't have a tumor or whatever, usually are in the two hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty range. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely like actually, if over on on uh, the the main page, um, just like through kinobody dot com slash test shock, you can see that over on that page is actually I have a story about. Um, uh, Faye, who's a he's a Swiss blogger and he's one of my clients, and he actually went through the program, went up from 400 to over a thousand uh, nanograms. So like you can take it from that 400 point to over a thousand just a few months. I think it's it took him like like three or four months to do it. So it's not like you everyone has to do you know an 18 month progress. That's that's an, that's awesome. That's a more than double increase. That is that is yeah. profound. And actually, Faye's a legit dude. I was on his pod. He's got a podcast. I was on it. Yeah, yeah, Bite Hype podcast. Bite Hype. I did that yeah. a, a year ago or something. Um, yeah. Well, that's you know very cool stuff. Um, actually, I had one of my followers reach out to me, and he's in his thirties, and um, he, uh, I think he at the time he was doing like a fitness model approach diet. So he was going extremely high in protein, very low in uh, in carbs. And uh, which was one of the issues right there. But anyways, he was telling me that he got diagnosed with very, very low testosterone. And obviously, his diet exaggerated that. Um, but he was thinking about going on hormone replacement. Um, and he actually heard that it could reduce his fertility. And he's planning on having another child. So he, that was one of the reasons he didn't want to go on it. Yeah, there's, there's, a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of new research being uh, published. I just ran across a study, or it was a review. Uh, published like four days ago or you know four or five days ago where uh, and it's interesting in that industry because like the way research is run in that industry because research is usually uh, it can get super shady like anything else research can get real shady it's funny how people trust science so much but there's especially with pharmaceuticals and you know hormone enhancement is like multi-billion dollar industry so a lot of studies are actually funded backdoor or just blatantly um, these these companies will contribute to these these uh, studies so uh, you have so much conflicting information uh, this this new one that came out really was like it was a review and he was talking about um, or the the researcher the doctor or whatever was talking about how you know, there's so much conflicting information in terms of the long term, and there's no real evidence of long term effects of uh, uh, hormone replacement therapy because it's such a young industry. Uh, so, but there's a lot of evidence that actually points to it being uh, potentially really dangerous, uh, mm -hmm. and having prostate cancer also as another um, symptom or another cause or effect of of uh, uh, long-term um, hormone replacement therapy and yeah in, uh, infertility anything anything in that axis and that's what I talk about in the book as well that just the HPA axis and the HPG axis in terms of how your brain communicates with uh, your your testes or your uh, um, adrenal glands in this process if you're messing with anything in that system synthetically or um, foreign with like foreign outside stuff um, you have the ability to really throw it out of whack 
and you can mess up everything. Like infertility is is an example, you know. So. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, definitely like um, the tools to naturally increase your testosterone are in the course, and and so I mean, if, if you're someone that wants to bring up testosterone for maybe a number of reasons. Um, and you know we talked about the benefits before. You know, you'll help get it, you'll build a be able to build a better body, build more muscle. You know, stay leaner, easier, and it has a lot of psychological implications, reducing stress and anxiety and and even stuff like depression. If your testosterone levels get too low, you can have so many negative side effects. And and then like it's cool. I mean, I think like um, when your testosterone levels are really high, like I think it creates that 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 state to kind of have more energy and ambition. Yeah. There's, there's like a level of core confidence that you get, which it's hard to describe, but when people get there, you can feel it. You know, you like, you feel like a man, you know. Uh, you feel like you can be assertive when you need to. It's just the way that we're wired as men, that when it's humming along in, in a nice balance, you just feel like it clicks. And testosterone is really the key component in that whole equation. Right. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And, hey, the, the better sex... Better boners. I'm all all for that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a main benefit. I think that's what yeah everyone is really wanting out of the whole whole thing. Yeah. So cool. Um. So guys, if you want to check out Chris's program, um, you can go to kinobody.com/testshock. Um. It's it's very effective. Like I said, I've gone through it. Um. The tips are in there. Awesome. And you know, you'd be surprised about you know the like the full like depth of the information. I mean, the, the nutrition, the fitness, and even really cool stuff you can do in just a few minutes to help reduce that stress, that cortisol, and help improve that testosterone that is research-based. So, um, uh, so yeah, guys, go check it out, um, kinobody.com slash testshock. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. All right, great talk. Thanks again for coming on, Chris. Great talking to you. Yep. Great right. talking to you too. Yeah. Bye-bye. All right, later.